the second saying or second cry on the cross. You'll find in Luke 23, 43, and he said to them, truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Truly, I say to you, you will be with me in paradise. Jesus was hanged between two thieves and one thief of one thief uh, mocked Jesus and said, if you are son of God, you save yourself and us. But the other thief said that, why you are mocking him? We deserve this punishment because we deserve what we did. But he has not done anything. He recognized that Jesus is innocent. And then he turned to Jesus and said, Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingdom. And Jesus said to him that truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Now, in, in, in Aramic or in Greek, it says, Amen lego soi. It's very significant. In, uh, if you look into different version in ESV, it says, truly, truly, I say to you. In King James Version, it says, verily, verily, I say to you. In New English uh, Version, it says, very truly. So when, when you repeat those words, truly, truly, verily, verily, that means it is so important, it is so authentic. What Jesus was saying that you will be with me in paradise. However, the Greek or Aramic version is Amen Lego Soi. Now, it is, it is so interesting to notice that the word truly is translated or verily in some version it is translated is actually a word, Hebrew word called Amen. What it be? What is the meaning of Amen? So it be. But in, in Hebrew context or the language context, the how the word is being used is very important. We know whenever we say our prayers, what we say, Amen. So what we are saying that we are agreeing whatever the prayer is offered, that Lord, I agree with this prayer, so let it be, let it happen the way we say it. So, Amen is always being used at the end of what we are saying or offering a prayer. But here, Jesus is using this word, Amen Lego Soi, which is translated as a truly I tell you, a truly I say to you. That means Jesus is starting this saying. In the beginning, he is using Amen, not at the end, but in the beginning. It is interesting why Jesus is using this word Amen in the beginning, not at the end. It is very significant because whenever we use the word Amen in the beginning, that proves that it can be used when you have a first-hand knowledge or when you have authority about whatever you are saying. So when Jesus says that, truly, truly, I'm telling you, amen, amen, I'm telling you, that means Jesus has a first-hand knowledge. What is going to happen? That you, that thief, will be with definitely with, be, with Jesus in paradise. And not only that, Jesus has authority. To change the course of this person's life. He has authority. You remember when Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus uh, went uh, in, in the, uh, just when Jesus went um, for the Last Supper, he says that by after knowing that everything has, been, all authority is given to me, given to Jesus, he went to wash the feet of disciples. It is not that uh, uh, that Jesus did not have authority, but he is. It is for us to know that he knew what is his authority. Jesus knew what is his authority. 
and he was living in this authority. And here, before dying, he said that, I amen, amen. That means Jesus said, I know firsthand because I am God that you will be forgiven, you will be with me in paradise. And second thing, I have an authority. So, friends, if there is only one person, only somebody that you are looking for who has authority, who has a power to change the destination of our, of our life, that is Jesus. And before he, di he died, he wants us to know, Amen, Amen. Amen, Amen. Lego soy. Surely, surely, truly, truly, you will be with me in paradise. So, do not doubt who Jesus is and what he is saying to you today. That doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter even what you believe. It only matters what Jesus says and who has authority. And he loves you. And he forgives you and he wants to come home. 